Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this charm right here. This charm is called the Hibiscus Butterfly Charm. And this is my own original design. And if you haven't made the Hibiscus Flower, which is a design kind of similar to this, in the way you make it, then you should probably go make that first, but if you wish to make this first, then that is your choice and it's all on you, so. Anyway, this is my own original design, and as you can see, you can attach it to a bracelet, or you can already have the bracelet kind of being made on the charm, like I did here. But yeah. I actually wore this bracelet in this char with this charm on it to school and there were a lot of people saying, wow, that's really cool and stuff. Even guys were saying that. I was just like, wow, what the heck? But they were like, wow, did you make that? I was like, yes, I did. I invented it. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't say I invented it, but I probably should say that. i say that next time. But anyway... Lots of people were having nice comments about this, and so if you want to have a lot of people flatter you, then make this, because people will be like, wow, you're amazing! Yeah! <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you how to make this, and now I'm going to tell you what you need. So to make this charm, you're going to need your loom. Any loom will work, except for that monster tail loom. That's not really a loom, it's more of a thing. You will also need your hook. Any hook will work. I'm going to be using my Rainbow Loom Metal Tip Hook, just because. And it just pretty much, whatever you use to make a hibiscus flower, you, can u you will use for hibiscus butterfly. Except for maybe the rubber bands. I will explain the rubber bands in a moment. But you will also need four S, C, or O clips if you are just making the charm. Or you will need five S, C, or O clips if you are making the charm and the bracelet together. So I, gra I got five S clips, F five C clips, and five O clips. And let me adjust the camera so you can see them. So five S clips here. Five C clips and five O clips. But you won't need five of each. You will just need five of one type. But for this tutorial, I'll be mixing it up a little bit. I will be using four O clips and one S clip. The I will be making a bracelet extension type of thing this tutorial. And I'll be using an S clip for the bracelet. And these O clips here that are, I have four of are going to be for each of my wings because when you, well, when you make a hibiscus flower, at the end you have to put a clip when you finish looming. And you have to do the same for a hibiscus butterfly. Ew, this S clip is deformed. There we go. There's a better one. So that's my, that's why you're going to need more than one clip for this tutorial. But... If you do want to use just one clip or no clips at all, like, and the only way to use no clips at all is to not have a brace or a bracelet on it. But if you do not wish to have clips on it at all, you can make a slip knot at the end of each of the wings instead of a clip. And I will show you what I mean when we get to that part. But now that you know kind of what you need, I'm going to now explain the rubber bands. So for the rubber bands, I would recommend you have at least two colors for if you're just doing the charm, or three colors if you're doing the charm and the bracelet. But if you do want to use just two colors with the charm and the bracelet, it just does not matter at all how many colors you use. You could use all the colors. But as you can see, I have four colors here, and I'm going to be using four colors for this tutorial. And I used four colors in all of my examples. 
I actually had a brown one. I do not know where my brown butterfly went. But I do have these two, and these two are pretty cool. So I'm going to be showing you. Okay, here's my first one I ever made, which is kind of the prototype. I used one color for the body and these antennas here. And I will be showing you how to make these antennas. Don't worry about that. I also used one color for the border of the wings. I used another color for some of the inside of the wings. And I used a another color for the middle middle of the wings. As you can see, I used three colors for the wings and one color for the body. And same here, I used three colors for the wings, border, the outer middle type thing, and then the middle. And then I used one color for the body. And then I used four colors for the bracelet. But I'm going to be using this as the reference for the tutorial, so I'm going to put this to the side. And now, as you can see, I have four different color rubber bands. White is going to be my border. Blue is going to be the green on this example. And this purple, which is actually, these are actually firework rubber bands. These are going to be the pink here that I have on the wings. And these black are going to be the body, obviously. Sorry about my nose, it's just really running all of a sudden today. Anyway, now that you know what you need, get your supplies and use the pause button if you need to. And then we can get started. To make this charm, you're going to need the arrows on your loom pointing towards you. We will not have the arrows on our loom pointing any other direction. Unless you wish to make this bracelet, or not bracelet, but charm, with the arrows pointing the other way, then you do the opposite of what I'm doing, but that can be confusing, so just do what I'm doing. Unless, until you master making butterflies on your loom. So what you're going to do, to begin, this is the peg that you're going to have a cap band on, on this bottom left peg. And to p begin placing rubber bands, you're going to count from this six, or not this six, from this right peg, and you're going to count six pegs, including this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this right peg up here is going to be the peg you start on. And let me check real quick. Yes, this is where you're going to be starting, the sixth right peg on your loom. So this is the beginning of your looming, and this is the end of your looming. So this is where we're going to start placing rubber bands. So to begin actually placing rubber bands, we're first going to place bordered rubber bands going from the sixth right peg to the second right peg. And my border color is white. So from the sixth right peg, you're going to place a border rubber band going downwards, or coming towards you, on this fifth right peg. And from this fifth right peg, you're going to place another border rubber band coming towards you on this fourth right peg. And from this fourth right peg to this third right peg, you're going to stretch a place another border rubber band. And then your final border rubber band that you're going to place on the right side is going to be going across the third and second right pegs. And make sure you're placing these rubber bands coming towards you and you're doing everything exactly as I am doing. And also here are the border rubber bands. So I'll give you a couple seconds while I show you what the border rubber bands are if you got the wrong color. The border rubber bands are these teal or turquoise rubber bands on the example. And for this tutorial I'm using white. So I'll give you a couple seconds. Alright, if you didn't get them or if you messed up or something, just use the pause button because I'm going to continue now. <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is we're going to place rubber bands coming from this right side going inwards to the middle. And they're also going to be going downwards. So from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. And we're going to be starting on this sixth right peg. So, at this top here, from the sixth right peg, we're going to get another border rubber band. And we're going to place it going across from the sixth right peg to this 
fifth, or not the, yes, this fifth middle peg. Yes, the fifth middle peg. So that's one border rubber band. Then this next rubber band you're going to place is going to be what I'm going to be calling your outer inner rubber band. And outer inner is because this is kind of the outside of the inside. Because it's inside of the border, but it's like on the outside of the wings. And this in the middle will be referred to as the inner rubber bands, just the inner, which will be purple. And in this tutorial, I'm using blue for my outer inner rubber bands. And we're going to be placing them, or it, not them, we're going to be placing it on the, from this fifth right peg to this fourth middle peg. So like this. And then once you get to this fourth middle, or not mi fourth middle, but fourth right, sorry, from this fourth right peg, you're going to get an inner rubber band and stretch it going from this fourth right peg to this third middle peg, like so. And then this next rubber band that you place from this third right peg will be an outer inner rubber band, and it will be stretching from this third right peg to the second left peg. And this final rubber band that you will be placing going inwards to the middle is going to be a border rubber band, and it is going from this second right peg to this first middle peg. Then, once you have those, you're going to place more rubber bands that go through these middle pegs here in a vertical row, like we did at first. And I will show you what I mean in a second, as soon as I push these down real quick. Right. So, from this fifth, yes, this fifth middle peg to this fourth middle peg, you're going to get an outer inner rubber band. So all these rubber bands will be the inner kind of rubber bands. So we'll have the outer inner and the inner rubber bands. So from this fifth middle peg to this fourth middle peg, you're going to get an outer inner rubber band and stretch it going across those two pegs. Then from this fourth middle peg to this third middle peg, you're going to get an inner rubber band and stretch it going across those two pegs. Then the next two pegs, which are your third middle and second middle pegs, you will get another inner rubber band and stretch it going across those pegs. And then with an outer inner rubber band, you're going to be stretching it going from this first middle peg to this second middle peg. And you can go ahead and push them down a little bit. Then, once you place that little single chain type thing there, you're now going to place rubber bands that go outwards to the left side now. And you're going to place the exact same pattern that you did here when you first play, when you placed rubber bands going inwards from this right pegs to these middle pegs. So on top here with this fifth middle peg to this fifth left peg, you're going to place a border rubber band. Then you're going to get an inner outer rubber band and place it going across these fourth left and middle pegs. Then this inner rubber band will be going across the third left and middle pegs. And on the second left and middle pegs, you're going to get an outer inner rubber band. And then this rubber band that goes here, which is your first middle and first left pegs, will be a border rubber band. And once you place those rubber bands that go outwards to the left, you're going to place rubber bands coming down towards you on the left side. And these will all be border rubber bands that you're about to place. So from this fifth left peg to this fourth left peg, you're going to get a border rubber band and stretch it going across those. Then from this fourth middle peg to this third middle peg, or not middle, I'm sorry, these left, the fourth left and the third left pegs, you're going to get another border rubber band and stretch it across those. Then from these third and second left pegs, you're going to get another border rubber band stretched across those two pegs. And then from this second to this first left peg, you will place your last border 
rubber band for this wing. And now you have completed placing rubber bands for your wing. You're, what you're going to now do is make a cap band to start luing. And you're going to place your cap band on this bottom left peg here. Or your first left peg. And when, when you make your cap band, you're going to want to have the color of that cap band be the same color as which you're going to be making the body of your butterfly. So to make a cap band, you're going to take whatever color you're using for your body and you're going to take a rubber band that is that color and twist it into an 8 or an infinity sign. Then once you've done that, you will fold this rubber band, which will be become a cap band, like a book back upon itself, which I messed up because of my big nails. There we go. And now it should look like you have two rubber bands instead of one. And what you will do with this now cap band is put it on this first left peg. Then once you placed that rubber band, or now cap band, you can begin the looming process. To loom your first wing here, which this is a large wing as I probably did not say before, but I probably had a subtitle. And if I say nope, I'm going to get mad. But this is one of our large wings, just so in case if you didn't see that subtitle down there at the bottom. And we're just going to start looming it. So to begin, we're going to start on this peg with the cat band. And we're going to pull back the cat band. And we're going to grab the top rubber band underneath of that cat band. And this rubber band should be going forwards on your loom. So it should still be on the left side. And my camera's being funny. You're not funny. You're annoying. I put my finger down here. Then, once you loom that rubber band, you're going to come to the second left peg and loom the top rubber band underneath of this rubber band that you have loomed. So it should also be going forwards on the left side. Then, you, once you're in this third left peg, you're going to grab the top rubber band that is underneath the rubber band you just loomed, and it should be going forwards to the next left peg. And then you're going to do the same thing for this rubber band here, whatever the top rubber band is for underneath this one you just loomed, should be the next rubber band that goes forwards on your loom. And once you've loomed all four of those, we will now loom the rubber bands that go out in, or inwards to the middle. So, let me zoom in a little bit so maybe I can fix this lighting issue. Alright, well this is kind of helping, but we'll just have to make do with this. Oh, it's actually working. That's great. Well, anyway. Whatever. As long as you can see. Um, now we're going to loom these rubber bands that go inwards to the middle. So we're going to come back to this first left peg with the cap band on it. And we're going to pull back the cap band and grab the bottom rubber band that's underneath of it and loom it outwards to the, or inwards, sorry, to the middle. So that's where it should be coming from. And of course my hand is making this come lighter. Alright, then you're going to move on to this next mid left peg, and you're going to grab the bottom rubber band and loom it inwards to the middle. Then you will do the same thing for this, for the next two pegs. You're going to grab the bottom rubber band and loom them inwards to the middle. And as you can see some of my rubber bands are a little bit twisted up. That shouldn't affect your charm too much at all. That should probably happen but just ignore it. Just loom. And once you've loomed these rubber bands inwards, you c will now loom the rubber bands that are kind of a single chain type of thing in the middle row. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to this first peg in the middle row and pull back this top rubber band that you just loomed. Eh, not this blue one here. 
and you're going to grab the top rubber band underneath of it and it should be going forwards to this next middle peg. Then from this second middle peg, you're going to pull back the top rubber band that you had just loomed inwards, grab the top rubber band underneath of that, and loom it forwards to the next middle peg. Then you will do the same thing for this middle peg here. You will pull back the top rubber band you just loomed, grab the top rubber band underneath of that, and loom it forwards to the next middle peg. And then same here, you're going to pull back the top rubber band you just loomed, grab the top rubber band underneath of that, and then loom it, oop, loom it forwards to this next middle peg. And once you've done that, you have loomed all the rubber bands in the middle forwards that you need to. And we will now loom the rubber bands that go outwards to the right. So this this next step is pretty much the same as what you've done on the left. You're going to come to this middle cap band, or not this middle cap band, but this first middle peg. Pull back this top rubber band that you had loomed. Grab the bottom rubber band underneath of it and loom it outwards to the right. Then you will do the same thing on the second middle peg. You will pull back the top rubber bands that you had loomed. Grab the bottom rubber band and loom it outwards to the right as well. Then you will do the same thing on this third middle peg. Grab, pull back these top rubber bands that you had loomed. Grab the bottom rubber band and loom it outwards to the right. And then you will do the same exact thing for the next two pegs. Loom these rubber bands outwards to the right. Ooh, there we go. Let's go ahead and adjust these rubber bands so nothing breaks. Oh, and I'm sorry if my fingers were in the way. I was just making sure you got the I got these zoomed outwards, but you know you should know what to do. And once you've placed these rubber bands or not placed, sorry, but loom these rubber bands going outwards to the right, you will now loom this final single chain type of thing on the right side. So to loom this, you're going to go ahead, just start on the second right peg because there are no rubber bands on this first right peg. But on the second right peg, you're going to pull back this rubber band on top that you had just loomed. Grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards. Then you will do the same thing on the second right peg, or third right peg. You will pull back the top rubber bands you just loomed. Grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards. And the same thing here. Now pull back the top rubber bands you loomed. Grab the bottom and loom it forwards. Ooh, and something's gonna break. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Pull back. Gosh, this lighting is awful. Uh. Oh, bam. Hopefully that'll work. Well, anyway. Pull back these top rubber bands that you loomed. Grab the bottom rubber band. And loom it forwards. And that should be the last one you have to loom. And so, once you've finished looming all of the rubber bands on your wing, you will now get your clip that you are going to be placing on the end of your butterfly wing. And that is this top right peg here. Top right peg here. And let me adjust the camera so you can see a little better. And you can do one of two things. You can either put a clip on these rubber bands, like I am about to do so. Or you can make these rubber bands a slip knot. And to do this, you would grab the very bottom two layers of the rubber bands and just hook them over, loom them over this peg, this peg here, and then just pull it. And then you'd have these two. And I would just prefer you, or recommend you do the clip instead. And to do the clip, you're just going to pull all these rubber bands kind of closer together. Get your clip and just attach the clip to all little, all the four little parts of these rubber bands here. So just give me a couple seconds and I will get these all on. Sorry about the awful lighting, but just get all of the pegs, or not the pegs, all of the rubber bands onto this clip. And you can actually begin to now just pull this 
off of your loom. And as you can see, I now have my little wing here. And this wings are a little bit twisted out here. Which I think these rubber bands are being funny. They think they're so funny, they're just gonna... Yeah. But just adjust this wing once you've taken it off of your loom. Some of the rubber bands might be a little bit, like, trimming make a slip knot out of themselves but you can adjust the wing so that it looks how you want it to look well of course as it can possibly look and my fingers honestly this camera is being incredibly racist and I'm not gonna tell you why so anyway once you have this little wing here this is how it should kind of look Depending on what colors you use. Let me turn ah, let me turn this around. Wow, the lighting actually did something good for me once. Wow, amazing. Well here's the other side. And one side of this butterfly wing seems more comfortable than the other side. As long as if you're not doing a single chain or even making this a bracelet at all, it does not matter which side's more comfortable. Um, especially if you're doing like a quadruple single or triple single or putting this on a bracelet it doesn't matter but if you're doing like a single chain then I actually don't remember which side you would place this cat band on but I am about to show you how to make your second large wing As you see, I explained it in less than two minutes. Amazing! Yet it took me ten minutes the other time. But, now you have finished placing rubber bands for this other large wing. And, now we can place this cap band on our loom. So we can get started on looming. Yeah. Alright, so give me a second so I can figure out which direction I'm supposed to, how I'm supposed to place this on, especially for you people who are going to be making a bracelet but wish to use just a single chain. So give me a moment to figure that out. Okay. Well, extremely sorry for this random awful cutting or something that might have happened during this, but I do not believe there is any way to make this with it comfortable on both sides. So. If one side is really sticking out and the other side is not really sticking out, or it's like one side sticking out on both sides, you'll see if it happens. But there isn't really a way to make it so that the comfortable side, but I just recommend not doing this on a single chain. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, once you place this pattern once again, you're going to get your cap band, and with the side or the corner with the clip so the corner of your wing with the clip on it is pointing 
on top, and it's on the left. That's all I'm saying. The clip is on top and on the left side. And your cap band is on the bottom right corner. So that's all I'm saying because if you do it this way, then you'll have your two wings and it'll look like the w butterfly wings are closed. So if you wish to have that kind of design, go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to place the cap band the way I said I was going to, with the cap band on the bottom right corner and the clip on the top left corner. And you're basically just going to loom this in the exact same way you did for your previous wing. You're going to pull back the cap band, grab the top rubber band, With the cat man different but if I messed up it's all me <gasps> oh I didn't mess up hip hip hooray all right well I'm gonna f go ahead and adjust the swings so that it does not look really ugly some of the rubber bands out here just really want to be slip knots but it's so sad for them because they cannot be slip knots they're the most boring bracelet ever the single chain it's not the ugliest, because I've seen some pretty ugly bracelets. They literally looked like blobs. Anyway, as you can see, this thing, this thing looks a little bigger. I don't know why. Probably because this one, I just haven't pulled it out, really. Maybe because I just got it off my loom. Huh. Imagine that. <laughs> anyway. But anyway, if you're going to do a single chain, then hey, this actually does not feel half awful. But it's still not recommended you use this for a single chain. But now, you've made your big wings. Yay! Now we're going to go ahead and get started on making the smaller wings. And we're not going to use this cap band for those smaller wings. We're going to use a different cap band for them. And I will now show you how to make the small wings after I throw these out of the way. Alright, now we can get started. So to make these small wings, which I will go ahead and show you. So we've already made our big wings here. We're now going to finally get started on our smaller wings down the bottom. And these wings are a lot easier, or a lot quicker to make. So I will go a little bit, or probably a ton faster through these than I will, than I did for these big, big juicy wings. And these wings will be half the size of your large wings. So when you go to count how many pegs on what side, you're just going to count to the third right peg instead of the third, or not the third, not the, blech. You're going to count to the third left peg, dang it, to the third right peg instead of the sixth. So one, two, three. This is where I'm going to start placing rubber bands. And you're going to basically do the same kind of pattern that you did for the bigger wings. You're going to place a single chain going down this right side here. And you're only going to need two rubber bands. 
So these two rubber bands that you're placing are border rubber bands. From this third right peg to this second right peg, you're going to place a border rubber band. And I lied. You're not going to start here. You're going to start on this fourth right peg. Yay! I am such a liar. Alright. So from this fourth right peg to this third right peg, you're going to place a border rubber band. Whatever color you're using for your border, which was white during this whole entire tutorial. And it was this turquoise or teal or blue-green on this example for this entire tutorial. And then from this third right peg to this second right peg, you're going to place another border color rubber band. And that is all you're going to be placing on the right side. Now you're going to place the rubber bands that go inwards to the middle. And starting on this right peg, this fourth right peg to be more specific, you're going to get another border color rubber band and stretch it from this fourth right peg to this third left peg, third middle peg, sorry. Then, this next part, then, on this third right peg, you're going to get your inner color rubber band and place it going from this third, or, yes, this third right peg to this second middle peg. Then you will get another border color rubber band and from this second right peg you're going to stretch it going to this first middle peg. Then you're going to place a single chain that goes on, this mi on these middle pegs here and these both will be outer inner color rubber bands. Now they're kind of the inner color. So if you want to, you know, switch it so that these are the outer inner that go across, just do whatever pattern you want with these. So here's how that looks. I can't remember what I did for that, but this third middle peg to the second middle peg, and from the second middle peg to this first middle peg is another inner color rubber band, and I will give you a few seconds to fix your loom, and I am extremely sorry. I will never do that again. Let me just fix this real quick. There we go. So I'll give you a couple seconds. Alright. Let me give you a little more than a couple seconds, because a couple is two. And now we're going to place the same pattern that we did here bef that was going from these right pegs inwards to these middle pegs. So from this third middle peg you're going to get a border color rubber band and stretch it going outwards to this third left peg. Then you're going to get another border rubber band and stretch it from this third middle peg to this third left peg. And with an outer inner rubber band you're going to place it going from this second middle peg to this third left peg. And then you're going to place a single chain on this left row of pegs. So from this third left peg to the second left peg, you're going to get another border color rubber band. And from this second left peg, you're going to place another border rubber band going to this first left peg. And then you are done placing rubber bands on your loom for this wing here. So now that you have those, you're going to now make another cap band. You're not going to use the same cap band as you did for your large wings. You're not going to attach these onto there. Unless if you want to. But then it'd be kind of dumb looking. Because that's technically what I did with this one right here, the prototype, and as you can see, the wings are literally on top of each other. And it's not pretty. So if you want this nice, organized butterfly that literally looks like an actual butterfly, then do what I am doing. Make a different cat man. <laughs> so anyway, you're now going to get another rubber band that is the same color as what you're going to be using for your body 
and turn it into a cap band. So you're going to get a cap or a rubber band that is the same color as what you're going to make your body. And you're going to twist it into an 8 or an infinity sign. And you're going to fold it like a book on top of its back upon itself. Oh, I finally got it the first time. Hooray. And now, once you do that, you it should look like you have two rubber bands instead of one. And you will now place this now cap band on this first left peg. And once you place that cap band, you can begin to loom these rubber bands here. So to do this is exactly the same as doing making your larger wings, only now there's less rubber bands to loom. So what you're going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and explain this, is pull back this cap band, grab the top rubber bands underneath of your cap band, and it should be going forwards to the next left peg. Then when this on this left peg, you're going to grab the top rubber band underneath the rubber band you just loomed, and it should also be going to the, it should also still be on the left side. Then you'll loom these rubber bands that go outwards to the, or inwards to the middle. You'll come back to this cap band, pull back the cap band, grab the bottom rubber band and loom it out, or inwards, sorry, not outwards, inwards to the middle. Then the same thing here, you're going to kind of pull back this rubber band and loom it inwards to the middle. And then the same thing for this last rubber band up here, loom it inwards to the middle. And here in this middle row, you'll pull back this rubber band that you just loomed, grab the bottom rubber band, or not the bottom, but the top rubber band underneath of that rubber band, and loom it forwards. There we go. Then the same thing here, you're going to pull back this rubber band here that you had just loomed, grab the top rubber band underneath of it, and loom it forwards. If I can even grab it. There we go. And you're going to loom it forwards. I'm so sorry about the sliding. I'm, I'm serious. I don't know what to do. I'll probably try to get... I don't know. But anyway, once you loom the, that row there, you're now going to loom this, these rubber bands going outwards to the right. And to do this, you're going to come back, or not come back, you're going to come to this first middle peg. Oh my goodness, this lighting, it's driving me nuts now. Alright. You're going to come to this middle peg here, grab the bottom rubber band, you pull back this top rubber band, and loom this bottom rubber band outwards. Then you're going to do the same thing again, only on this next middle peg, you're going to pull back the top rubber bands, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it outwards. Oop. And the same thing for this last peg, last middle peg here. You're gonna pull back this top rubber band, and you're gonna grab, you're gonna loom this rubber band here outwards to the right. And once you loom those right, or the yes, once you loom those rubber bands to the right, you're now gonna loom these this single chain here in the middle, or on the right side. Goodness, I am getting confused with everything today. Apologies. You've probably been hearing me say sorry like infinite times. I have to stop doing that. But anyway, you're going to pull back these, this rubber band here that is loomed. Grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards. Same thing here. Pull back this top rubber band that has been loomed. Grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards as well. And that should be all you need to loom for this small wing here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get another clip. And you should now only have either two or one clip left, depending on if you're making a bracelet for this charm or not. But you're going to get another clip. And at this top right peg here with all these rubber bands, you're going to get your clip. And you're going to put it on all four parts of this little of these two rubber bands so when you slide your clip on all to these onto all of these clips or these rubber bands you should be able to grab it and just pull this and it will pull all four of the rubber band parts 
and once that is happening you can now pull this clip along with all of the rubber bands on your loom off and admire your first little baby wing and now as you can see I have my first wing and the wings will be will have the clips pointing downwards on the bottom left corner instead of the top left like the wing was or the bigger wing was but I will explain all that blah 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 later let me go ahead and adjust my wings so it can be prepared for the next wings creation Alright, I just figured out which side I was making, and we're going to basically do the exact same thing we did for the larger wings. We're going to make the exact same pattern that we did for the small wing, and we're going to place this onto the peg and all. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to go fast forward on this, because you, it's pretty easy to make the small wing, you just do, you count four pegs up from this right peg, including this one. So one, two, three, four, and this is where I'm starting. And I do single, that single chain across three pegs. And just do that same pattern we did for my left wing, or for this wing, for this, for this next wing that we are creating as well. So I'm just going to fast forward. Use the pause button if you need to. If you do not remember how to make these wings, or this wing, just go back to the time in the video I was explaining how to do it, and I will see you once you finish your next wing. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and slow down to show you me putting this clip on for the final time. And this depends on if you are making a bracelet or not. So if this is the final clip that you are placing because you are not making a bracelet for your charm or your hibiscus butterfly, then this is the last clip you are placing, but this is not the last step that you are following. You will still do the same thing as people who are going to be making a bracelet for their tut for not their tutorial. No one's making a tutorial on this unless they approve. I should probably specify that in my description. So I will be doing that in all my next all of my subscription or not my subscriptions, my descriptions. Whatever. Just pull this stupid thing off. Just just get this just get this show on the road. Just, just do something. Alright. Just taking this off. Hooray! Finally! I did it right. The first time I was so mad because I did it wrong. Pretty much like every other Rainbow Loomer in this universe. Because when a Rainbow Loomer gets something wrong, well, they get really mad and then they blame the tutorial maker. Because you came and broke my hook. <laughs> Such a baby. <laughs> Don't about that. No one came to your house and broke your hook. Unless I came to your house and broke your hook. I don't even know where you live. So I'm gonna tell me I came to your house and broke your hook. Well, actually, I can't break your hook. Unless your hook is really flimsy and cheap and plasticky. And this rubber band here that I'm replacing is actually broken. It's not broken, but it's bra It's on the verge of breaking. And I just don't want to risk it breaking. I don't want to rescue any biscuits. So I'm just, I just decided to replace it. And these are pretty much the only rubber bands you can replace. If, if another rubber band within your bracelet or your wing here breaks, then you you got to redo the wing. And that's a great thing about this charm. 
if you mess up on one, like, wing or something on this charm, you don't have to start the entire thing over. You just have to redo that one little part of the charm. As you can see, this looks a little bit different on this side as it does on this. Oh! Yeah, it looks a little different on both sides. One side, it, it just looks slightly different. It's nothing really exact. It's not really anything noticeable. Unless if you stare down deep into your wings here. Well, they're not your wings because you're not using them. Well, you are using them, but you're not using them. It's really complicated. But anyway, now you should have both sets of wings now. And we will now begin to actually put these wings together and finish off the charm. And I will show you how to end this bracelet in several, or not bracelet, this charm in several ways. One way is just making it a charm. Another way is how to make it with as a bracelet. And another is how to get the charm onto a bracelet. So let's get started on that. Alright, so to connect all of your wings, you're going to need your wings, of course, your large and your small wings. I'm going to put those to the side. Unlike this entire tutorial, the arrows should still be pointing towards you. Your loom should have never turned around, unless you had to turn around to show people what you were doing. Because sometimes, cause sometimes that just happens. So, you're just going to start on any random peg, any random middle peg here. Um, but start at least six pegs away from this first one. So, probably just count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be more than enough pegs to play for placing rubber bands. So, these rubber bands here that you're going to place are all going to be double rubber bands. So that means you're going to have two rubber bands and be placing them acro going across pegs on your loom. And these first ones you're going to place are going to be your antenna rubber bands. So if you do wish to have different colors for your antenna as opposed to... or you want to have different colors for your antenna uh, from your body, then the first rubber bands that you place will be a different color but I'm just gonna have all of it black nothing different and also whatever color the antennas are are gonna be also the color of your head because the antennas are basically a slipknot as you can see here is all silver and if I decide to use silver for my antennas it would also be silver for my head so anyway just count six or so many pegs away from this first one, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Just start on the sixth middle peg. And just place double rubber bands going from the sixth middle peg to this fifth middle peg. Then, from this fifth middle peg, you're going to get two more rubber bands. And place them going from this fifth middle peg to this fourth middle peg. Now let me think for a minute. Alright. I'm going to place another some more double rubber bands and this one looks like it's about to break got a lot of nearly broken rubber bands I'm gonna have to be going through all those make sure they're not breaking I'm breaking okay well anyway you're gonna get two more rubber bands and place them going from this fourth yes this fourth middle peg to this third middle peg and hold on let me me analyze my example all right well, as you could, um, this is all you need to place. You just need to place six rubber bands going down the middle of your loom. So just six. And I say six because these rubber bands are doubled. So you will just need pretty much three if you do not wish to make these rubber bands here doubled. But it is recommended that you make them doubled. But now, we're going to make the little cap band that goes here on the end so you can be looming and to, we're going to make this cap band triple a triple cap band so you're going to twist this three times instead of two and to do this you can either put it on your peg and put it on a peg and twist it three times you can twist it once so you can just make a regular cap band and put it on the 
peg and then take one part of the cap man and twist it into it eat itself. So just take one come here. Take another part of the cap band and twist it into an eight and put the eight twist part on top. And then you'd have three. If you count the layers. Or you could do it on your hook. And show your hook. You place it on your hook, of course. Twist this into an eight and put the other end of the hook or the hook. No. The rubber band on your hook, and then you would twist it again, which I think it's a little more difficult to do on your hook. You put it on your hook. Okay, now it's twisted three times. Well, you twist it twice, technically, but it's twisted three times. Then you, no, 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 don't come off now. All right. Well, anyway, then you have to transfer this, but that's really, really difficult. So don't do that on your hook unless you find it easier on your hook then fine do it however but if you cannot make a triple if you cannot twist your cap band three times or a third time then you can go ahead and make it a just a double cap band and it your the the butt of your butterfly yes this is basically what the cap band is it's just going to be really big so anyway once you have that cap bands on there you're now going to get your two different wings, your large wings and your little wings. And you're going to place them on your loom. The large wings will be placed on the, s the second to last peg. So this is the last peg here. And this is the second to last peg. And this is the first peg. So first, second, third, fourth. So basically the third peg. And let me think when you loom this, how you should place these. Well, I guess it doesn't matter how you place them. So, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, just go ahead and place your large wings on this third, these third pegs here. And you can put these wings out to the side so they're not in your way. And then you're going to do the same exact thing for your small wings. Oh, no you're not. You're not going to do the same exact thing for your small wings. And once that is all placed, you can now begin to loom this single chain. And to loom a single chain, it's really easy. All you do is start on this first middle peg with your cap band. Pull back your cap band a little bit, because if you twisted it around three times, then it's going to be pretty hard to pull back. But once you pull back your cap band, you're going to grab the bottom rubber bands, and there are two because you did double rubber bands. Unless if you just did single rubber bands, then you would just be grabbing one. But you will loom the double rubber bands forwards. Then on the second peg, there is another cap band because of your small wings. Let me check my wings real quick. <laughs> anyway, once you have that loomed forward, you're gonna you're on the second middle peg. You're gonna pull back this cap band because this cap band is in the way because of your small wings are on this peg. You're gonna grab the bottom rubber bands and loom them forwards because you have two rubber bands and not one because these are doubled. And the same thing on this third middle peg. Pull back this cap band, grab the bottom rubber bands, and loom them forwards. And once you loom those forwards, you can now make a slip knot with these rubber bands here. And making a slip knot is very, very easy. Especially when you have these extra these rubber bands here already loomed. All you have to do is grab there are two layers here of these rubber bands. There's this top layer here, and this bottom layer here. What you're going to do is grab the bottom layer with your hook, and pull it over the peg, like that, and you just created a slip knot. So now you can just simply take this charm off of your loom. And then you can tighten this slip knot as it is still on your hook, or you can just take it off. I'm going to take it off. 
and then you can just simply pull this tighten this all that of course don't pull it down too much and as you can see I have my little charm here it's just these rubber bands are all twisted up there we go as you can see I have my little charm my little butterfly and yeah I'm hoping you're enjoying this charm if this is the it the end for you if you are just making the charm then this is the of course like I just said the end for this tutorial for you so I hope you were able to make the charm successfully and if you weren't able to I I do apologize because I do think my explaining was a little bit eh. But I've been feeling that way re a lot recently. And I hope I, that you were able to make it. If it was a little confu too confusing for you, I might have someone else explain it. If somewhat, if this was a little difficult. And if you do think it was a little difficult for you, then suggest someone to explain it. And it can't be yourself. Because if you didn't understand it, why would you want to explain it to other people if you didn't understand? If you did understand, you, you can't make a tutorial. Oh, no, this is my tutorial, and it's my bracelet charm thing. So if you do want someone else to make a tutorial on this charm, then suggest them down in the comments below. Make sure it's someone I can, like, contact somehow via YouTube, not anything else, because I don't have Twitter or Facebook or whatever that stuff is. So yeah, this is the end of the tutorial for you, and bye!